Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and today we get to look at something very fun. This is a chap pick. You may have already seen one of these somewhere on social media and know what this actually is, but from the outside, it looks like a lip balm tube or a chapstick. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a very cool little design. It even says skin protectant, but that is not what is on the inside. Let me just show you if I tip this out. Yep, it's a little covert uh, sort of see a, a escape and evade kit it's very very cool little maybe a little survival a little bit of escape a little bit of evade uh, very cool stuff inside indeed so what do you get well you also get the uh, covert tube which is kind of cool you get uh, some kevlar i believe this is this is uh, to cut through zip ties or make a trap or a snare. It's got a 200 pound, I think around 90 kilo breaking strength, which is pretty amazing. Flame resistant, five feet long. What's that? One and a half meters ish. Um, very, very cool to have a little rope uh, yeah, of that, a little length of that. What else do we have? Well, we have a handcuff key. There we go with, it seems a little shrink tube on there to make it a bit more comfortable. We have a bit of saw blade for um, well, anything really, cutting cable ties or anything you really want to. We have here um, a glow stick and we have three lock picks, a triple peak, half diamond and flat top short hook and a turning tool as well. It also came with a little bag with stuff in it. So uh, take that out, got some spare glow sticks and little loops or wraps or whatever they are, bands, to tie back up your Kevlar. So that's really cool. A little sticker and a card which has some information about uh, piggyjt.com who sent me this kit for my review. Yes, this was sent to me for my review. It's not paid a review, however, and all thoughts are my own, but I just wanted to get the disclosures out of the way. So yeah, you can see here, it tells you it's got a lip balm tube, the tension wrench and picks, it's got a blade, uh, it's got the glow stick, Kevlar survival cord, um, yeah, all sorts of things. So very, very cool. Right, let's do some demos. First up, let's look at these uh, two pieces here. We've got the handcuff key and we also have the tension tool. It says that you can use the tension tool to shim handcuffs. So um, that would be to put the tension tool down here, like that, down into where the handcuffs ratchet. And what you tend to have to do with these is just move it forward, just if imagine it's tight in your wrist, you'd have to squeeze in one more position like that, and then it would release it like this. So uh, it isn't quite thin enough to slip straight under the ratchet, um, but once you click it forwards one, it will slide under and allow you to uh, take this off. The handcuff key itself, however, works exactly as intended. So um, I can unlock it uh, freely by turning this way. But if we have a double locked handcuff, so let me just do that. Let's lock it like this. Then what we can do is we can turn it the other way and it should just pop that back out and allow us to unlock the handcuff again. So that works too. The turning tool can also be used to get out of cable ties. I chose a particularly thick one, it's 13 millimeters wide. And what you can do is again, just pull it slightly forwards and then push up and then what you can do is you can just slide the turning tool underneath and you're free. If you had room, of course, you could always slide this sort of in and underneath the tab from the back and that would work too. Just like this and then slide it off. The saw is definitely a saw, but let's actually saw something with it to prove a point. <laughs> there you go, very effective. I want to see if the glow stick works. So what I'm going to do is just snap it like that, give it a shake. Then I'm going to turn all my lights off. There we go, it does work pretty cool. And the last thing I want to demonstrate are these lockpick tools. They're made from high carbon steel, uh, street sweeper bristles, apparently hand filed, which is kind of nice. And yeah, let's have a go. Now we are limited to just one turning tool here. So we only have this turn tool. It is quite thick, so we are going to be somewhat limited to what locks we can pick using just this turn tool. So first up we have a mask lock three and this little flat topped short hook. 
does fit in this keyway particularly well, so let's give that a go. Just going back through the lock, seeing what's binding and pushing up on any of the pins that feel like they need to be picked. The pin there. Anything else? There we go, and we are open. Turning tool is a little large, but I still can get it into one of these Yale style keyways like this. So let's try and use this triple peak to rake this lock. Uh, there you go, got some good turning force, pop this in, and just light tension. And there we go, got an open. And last but not least, we have this little half diamond, uh, which you can use to sort of pick and obviously scrub. So got some turning force, so I'm just gonna pop this in. I'm going to first of all, just try to uh, rake some of the pins like this. And then once I feel that I've done what I can with that, I'm just going to find any sort of remaining uh, binding pins and pick them manually with the uh, tip of the diamond. And yep, we are open. So there you go, that was the chap pick covert sort of seer set um, that that survival escape evade. Um, yeah, it's, it's really it's really fun, I think. And I really like the presentation and its sense of humor. I mean, it really is just like a lip balm tube, isn't it? And I really like the amount of tools that have been sort of packed in here. They do all work as sort of advertised, don't they? Um, I think it's, I mean, it's very useful to always have some cordage, whether you want to make a trap, a snare, a fishing line, um, whether you use it to build something, whatever it is, always very useful. The handcuff key um, is just, again, it works on most standard handcuffs. The saw is a real piece of saw blade, so it works exactly how you'd expect and how uh, useful could a saw be in certain situations. Um, the little pick tools are um, all very nice. Uh, and yeah, it's great that they provide some spares of this little glow stick. Any downsides to this? Well, the only things I could think of really are just going to be generic about using finger picks in general. These are pretty nicely finished, um, hand filed uh, picks and tools. And for, for that, I think they're, they're pretty nice. One thing I would say though, is like a lot of finger picks, the feedback you get from them and it is different. The way you have to use them is different. Um, so they, you know, they use in an emergency. Yeah, actually pretty good. Uh, but you know, you do have to actually be a relatively skilled lock picker to even pick, um, you know, quite simple locks with these just because of the way that you have to hold them. So as long as you bear that in mind, they are still very, very useful. Uh, the only other comment I would say about these is that the short hook and that half diamond really do come up to about the same height. So it would have been nice to maybe have had a shorter hook um, or maybe even actually saying that a shorter half diamond, but I'm probably being a bit picky. The only thing I really feel that this kit could just do with just a tiny, tiny adjustment, maybe I'm being greedy, but um, another turning tool this is Street Sweeper Bristle as well, by the way, not anywhere near as nice. This one's definitely been used. Um, it's just another turning tool. It will be super, super nice to have. Um, so yeah, just just an, another slightly thinner one, which would allow me to uh, tension some locks with slightly smaller keyways. For example, here is a little Abus, and this struggles to sort of fit in without encroaching into uh, the, the keyway here. Well, if there was a slightly thinner piece, it would just go down in here and be able to, to tension. So um, I don't know if it's possible to uh, maybe in the future add one of those in as well, even if you have to make it yourself. Um, but again, I'm being super, super picky at this point because I think what is in here works really well. Like I said, it's well presented. It's got a great sense of humor. Everything works as you uh, would expect it to. And yeah, I think it's a lot of fun. But I want to know what you think. What do you think of this? Uh, st stick that down below in the comments. I do read them all and reply to as many as I can. Oh, you will want to know the price before I uh, forget. And of course, this depends on 
when the video goes out, what the exchange rates are, whether there's been a pricing change on the website, all that kind of stuff. But at the time of filming, this was 40 US dollars, which comes in at around 33 UK pounds or thereabouts. Anyway, hope you liked that video. If you did, leave a like. If you've got um, any comments, as I said, leave them below. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing because it really helps my channel out. I'll see you all next time.